So Flutterflow has an AI page builder. Let's try it out. My name is Anya and this is Original Strokes. I just created a blank app and in order to test out Flutterflow's AI builder, all we need to do is click over here and click generate, create an AI generated page. Now full disclosure, this does have a cap, five pages a day, but this is pretty generous and it renews every day. So it's not too bad a restriction. Here I'm going to enter a prompt. I'm going to say a very default use case like create a marketplace for used books. You should be able to contact the bookseller, view a price, and view ratings. Use pink colors. This is my first look at the AI page that it'll generate so we can look at it together. Now it does give you up to 400 words. So right now this is a very minimal, sparse description. When we create the next page, we're gonna use a lot more words and see what's going on. Here it says the page cannot be generated properly. Let's try again. And this is what it created. So it was able to use the pink, like I said. It does have price, ratings, and then contact seller. And it does have like the basic things that I had included, but the design is quite frankly awful. It seems over here we can I don't really know what this is doing. We can change the font size, the font, and then we can also go here and rate what they've made. We can see the code that they built up for it if you wanted to export this. And we can also generate a color palette. So I'm going to say happy, vibrant colors. This is the color palette it was able to generate. We see primary yellow, pink, green, blue. These are vibrant, happy colors, but for some reason it's not able to apply it to this. Maybe we can try again, minimalist, professional. And I'm expecting grays, blacks. Yeah, so this does do a decent job of that, but this page looks not so good. Let's try this again. And this time, I actually used ChatGPT to generate a description. I told them to create a very detailed, in-depth description that breaks everything down about the homepage of a used book selling marketplace application, and I limited them to 400 characters. So what ChatGPT generated for me was design a vibrant homepage for a used books marketplace, include a hero section with a search bar overlaid on a carousel of book covers. Below, create categories like bestsellers, new arrivals, and rare finds, each with a horizontal scrolling carousel. Add user testimonials, a newsletter sign up, and a foot with social media links, FAQs, and contact information. Incorporate a clean, modern design. I forgot I also told ChatGPT to make it very complicated. Let's see how this does. This is much more detailed. It's explaining everything much better, but it is a super complicated design. So I want to see how Flutterflow's AI does. And this is what it generated for me. I'm a little confused about what this is, so I'm going to click insert page. We can call this home to just see what it actually looks like in the builder. And then also see what containers, etc. they used to build this. Okay. So we can see that it's actually much more complicated when we actually add it onto our application, we can see much better. So we did say have a book cover and then a search box overlaid, which it was able to do really well. This actually looks pretty great. Below that, sorry, I just moved that. Below that, we have 
bestsellers new rivals rare finds just like i said we see user testimonials down here and then a footer which said what i described subscribe to our newsletter faqs and then contact us so it was actually able to take every component that we had described and build it out i'm going to go over here to the widget tree to see how they actually formatted this so i'm really curious about these things we can see that there is a column surrounding just this area which is exact which is exactly how it should be designed we have an image a container we have a container that holds an image within a list view which has a text on top of it actually this is great um, design just from this end everything is sort of where it should be it's all organized nicely and while it may not look the best there are some issues with spacing like here if i just add 16 pixels of spacing looks so much better right off the bat this also image seems to have some scrolling issues but overall it was able to take every component that we had described and build it out let's see what this looks like responsibly we just see that it stretches across, which is fine, what's expected of it. When we get to the bigger laptop, it looks a little odd. It wasn't able to really build responsibly, like specifically responsibly, just good enough based on Flutterflow's builder. So this may not look as nice and polished as the ones we made in Bubble, but this is much more custom and we can do so much more with this than we could with Bubble. None of these have actions or anything. The search box is purely decorative, actually has no functionality, but this is a good start. You would still need to have a good amount of Flutterflow knowledge to be able to clean this up, make it look much, much better, but the bare bones the bones, the skeleton, is there. Let's try this out with a couple more pages. I asked ChatGPT to be creative and describe me another app, so I'm going to paste that in. What this says is design an interactive language learning app. Start with a hero section featuring animated characters speaking different languages with a search bar for courses. Below, add popular languages, daily challenges, and language partner sections with scrollable cards. Include a progress tracker widget and a fun quiz of the day. Finish with it with a footer linking to resources, blog, and community chat. This is definitely complicated, but I was pleasantly surprised with what it was able to do on the previous page. Let's see what it does now. This is what it generated. I'm going to click insert page and just call it language app. Okay, and this is what it was able to do with this. It actually doesn't have any images. I had described like a fun animated character. It wasn't able to add any of that in. And I don't really know what happened here. It just got to progress tracker. It just says progress tracker and footer. It wasn't able to build out the footer. Yeah, I'm disappointed. This previous page was much better. They had images, it included everything I had described, and it even had this nice footer, just like I described. I'm not too sure what happened here, because it really wasn't able to follow the instructions I had described for it. Maybe it was a little too complicated or something, but I'm not too sure what happened. I'm going to try again actually with the same page and see if it makes different things for different times. And I'm going to click generate. I said create a language learning app with a hero section featuring animated characters and a course search bar. Same thing as before. I said below add popular languages and daily challenges section with scrollable cards. I said include a progress tracker widget and finish with the footer linking to resources and community chat. I also said use vibrant colors and playful icons for an engaging look. 
I'm going to see if this is able to do better than the previous time. Right off the bat, let's, this looks better. But they still don't have any images like I had described. This has a space for an image up here. It just wasn't able to add any in. And I think this design looks slightly better, but it still wasn't able to do everything I had described, such as the progress tracker. Down here, they were able to add buttons that they didn't previously have. But this design looks completely different to this one, and we used basically the same prompt. So I suppose sometimes it takes multiple tries and tweaking your prompt slightly to get what you want. Now in Glide, we tried to create the home screen of a cupcake bakery business. Let's try to do that with Flutterflow and see how it works. I said design a sweet, inviting home page for a cupcake bakery. Start with a hero section featuring a slideshow of beautifully decorated cupcakes with a shop now button. Below, add sections for bestsellers, seasonal flav flavors, and custom orders with vibrant images. Include a testimonial carousel and newsletter sign up. Finish with a footer linking to the menu, store locations, and social media. And I'm going to click generate now. This is what they made. I'm going to click insert. And this is it. There is a shop now button like I described, no footer like I described, and just one image. It does have a cupcake, but it's not too fitting to the theme that I had described. Overall, Flutterflow's AI seems very hit or miss. Sometimes it makes something really nice, actually, like the first page we had made, and other times it just ignores huge parts of your prompt. Overall, I think it might be fun to experiment with it. You can try it out and maybe use it to even build out some pages in your apps but it's not a reliable way to build and it still has a long way to go, which is a recurring pattern with all of the AI builders of each of these no-code tools. I'd still say this is much better than Glide's AI and hard to compare to Bubbles because Bubbles really just using a templated thing and changing words and colors and fonts here and there, whereas this is actually building out a whole page for you, and sometimes it does that well. So let me know what you think, and I hope this was helpful.